Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. The Australian conceived Regal, who is 52 years of age, epitomized country tastefulness in her clothing, highlighting a dim design jumper, a dark sealant cabin blanket woman petticoat, and a smoothly styled floppy cap. Mary, a previous advertising chief, improved her modern outfit with a captivating cosmetics look, underlining her eyes with thick eyeliner and mascara, all set against a brilliant base of brilliant establishment. This occasion in Nerum takes on an exceptional importance, following a confidential occasion with Lord Frederick. It's not known where precisely Frederick and Mary spent their Easter break yet a royal residence representative affirmed to Danish magazine. Her and knew that the couple voyaged abroad with their four kids, crown ruler Christian, 18, Princess Isabella, 16, and 13-year-old twins, Sovereign Vincent and Princess Josephine. At the Deer Park opening, Mary emanated happiness as she delivered a deer and drew in with youthful admirers. Prior in the week, she supplemented her trendy look with a wide overflow cap and blue cowhide gloves, further emphasizing her style with obey brownish cowskin boots. The sovereign picked a marvelous cosmetics range highlighting smoky eyeshadow and pink sparkle, wearing her brunette hair in a streaming, wavy blow-dry. The sovereign's visit was set apart by both festival and dismal minutes. She was cheerful as she conveyed a discourse at the occasion and respected monitors with decorations for their commitment. However, the day was likewise shadowed by the new loss of a home watchman trooper who capitulated to heart failure while working the night prior to her visit speaking at the platform. Sovereign Mary tended to the tactical staff, communicating her sympathies and honoring the fighter's administration. For quite a long time, the home gatekeeper has made security and well-being for the Danes. It is a day we need to celebrate. Yet before I go any further, I might likewise want to communicate my most profound feelings to those dispossessed by the previous evening's disastrous demise, she gravely expressed.